death of an inmate at the Harris County Jail in March has now been ruled a homicide by the medical examiner. ABC 13 spoke to the family who was demanding answers months ago. Still, they say they've received little to no information about how he was killed, highlighting what they're calling a much bigger issue or problems within the jail. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor joins us live now outside the jail with what she's learned tonight. Brooke. His mother says that she understands the judicial system, but she doesn't believe that someone who is awaiting trial should be murdered behind bars. 13 investigates recently found that the Harris County jail population is the highest it has been in years, with more than 10,000 inmates for the first time since 2012. I feel that the Harris County jail system has failed. Back in March, Jocelyn Griffin spoke to ABC 13's Jessica Willie. Her son, 31 year old Evan Lee, was behind bars charged with aggravated assault when she got a call that he was on life support. He soon died. Almost nine months later, and the medical examiner's office has ruled his death a homicide. But his mother still fighting to find out how her son was murdered and where the supervision was. The sheriff's office hasn't been able to explain his death either. Back then, they told us Lee complained about abdominal pain on March 18th and went to the hospital that day. They said he was involved in a fight with another inmate a week before he was hospitalized, but was checked and cleared. Civil rights lawyer Randall Callanan, who's been working with Lee's family, sent a statement saying, quote, the Harris County Jail is overcrowded and understaffed. We need drastic changes at the Harris County Jail. Last month, 13 investigates found 21 deaths in the Harris County Jail from January through October. This was more than the jail had all of last year and more than each of the COVID years. In nine of those deaths this year, reports filed by the Sheriff's Office state the inmate was found unresponsive. The jail says most of the deaths are due to natural causes. A spokesperson for the Sheriff's Office says the Texas Rangers are still investigating Lee's death. Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.